Hi everyone, this week's Parsha video goes out Le'ilu Nishmat in the Merit of the Soul of Yaakov Leib ben Avraham. So, these double Parshio talk about the laws of Tzarat, the laws of somebody who's contracted leprosy due to speaking ill about somebody else committing the act of slander. And every year when this comes around, they talk about the negativity of, of what slander speech can do to your life and how and, 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 and how it's so destructive and how the, the Torah explains it's destructive, but I don't really want to focus on that this year. This year I want to focus on something positive. So let's focus on the positivity. Let's focus on what happens when you decide to refrain from speaking ill of somebody else. What happens? So we know that once somebody, something leaves our mouths, like it's out there, it's in the universe. So what happens when we don't let it out? What happens when we decide that that negativity should not exist in this universe. You're saving the universe from negativity. Like, I don't know, personally, that just blows my mind. That's one thing. Number two, what does it do for you? When you stop talking about other people, you don't really feel the need to compare yourself. You don't feel the need to, to like, compare yourself to other people. You're just comparing yourself to yourself when you decide not to speak about other people. Your relationships are so much better because you're not looking for the bad and you're not like, oh, I can't believe she just said, she just said that. I'm going to text so-and-so and let them know because, you know, I'm just so angry about it. Like, you can work things out between each other. Like, because you can't go and speak to somebody else about how they wronged you, oh my God, you need to communicate with this person. You actually have to try to save the relationship. Like, mind-boggling. I know. It's crazy sad that that's something that, that we don't do so much anymore. We don't, we don't communicate with other people to try to repair the relationship. Instead, you go to a third party and talk about it and, and like infuse the world with that negativity until then maybe you can go back and work on it. So when you refrain from speaking ill about somebody else, you're saving the world, literally. The world is less negative. You're less negative. And believe it or not, you're happy. Don't we all want to be happy? If anybody's interested in committing to an hour a day or learning the laws of forbidden speech, please let me know. Contact me. I can provide you with resources. I'd be happy to help. May we all bring more positivity into this world. All right? Love you. Have a wonderful Shabbos.